Hi, good afternoon everybody. It's Ia Patsy here and I'm doing the reading for Aries for the month of March 2018. Okay, so we're going to be doing things a little differently this month. We're going to be using the um, Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marcelli and we are going to be doing a five card spread to start. All right, we also will be consulting the um, Oracle cards. All right, so I hope everybody is getting ready for a wonderful Valentine's Day, if that's what you celebrate. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. If you're one of my regular subscribers, thank you so much. If you're just stopping by for the first time, I hope that you subscribe to the channel. I'm like 30 people away from a thousand and need a thousand for YouTube to continue to, uh, to allow you actually to monetize. And so that would be very helpful to the, to the channel. And I hope you like the uh, messages. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? If you don't know your um, other signs, your Rising, your Moon, your Venus, you can go to sites like Astro, Astro Cafe, A-S-T-R-O-C-A-F-E, or Astro Lobe, A-S-T-R-O-L-O-B-E, and you can get your free um, natal report, and it'll let you know what your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus signs is. It'll give you a lot, a lot more little information. If you know your time of birth, it'll be much more accurate. But if you don't, you can use um, midnight or noon, um, so that you know you can uh, get a better idea, you know, closer idea, as close as you can. But if you don't know it at all, you just put in, you know, noon or midnight, and it'll give you that information for that day, okay? So, um, let's get on with your reading. So the first position here, Aries, is what's going on, the works. What are you doing? What are you concerned with? What's going on around you, all right? What's happening in your space? And the card that came out for you here was Page of Cups, okay? So, Cups is love, right? And romance. Right, and this is a youthful energy with some kind of a message. Okay, but the message, this card was in the reverse. So the message is either delayed or the message that they're bringing is a negative message or the message they're bringing about their love this is a message of love so it could be that they are not going to express their love they're not going to bring that message to you <sighs> or their message has been delayed or that they decided not to express their love and not to offer the love to you or you decided not to offer your love to someone. Maybe you turned down someone's offer of love. The next card we have here is the Page of Pentacles. And these are messages about money. And this is in the upright position. And this is also the position that represents your home. So everything, your home is good. All right, you have stability, beauty, comfort, everything looks good on the outside. So messages about money. Okay, so the message about money is unexpected. The Ten of Pentacles, this is what was unexpected. There's a loss there's a loss of finances. This could be a bad investment. This could be getting less than you were supposed to for something that you're selling. This could be your stocks going down. Um, this could be a robbery. Some loss of money. So that was the message that this page was bringing to you. The next card would be concerning your role in this 
situation. And you got the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So I'm thinking this happened because you didn't say something? Because you stopped somebody from giving someone else a message? Or you stop someone from going forward? Or you stop moving forward? You just decided to stop moving forward? Because this is the fire sign wands, right? So that's you. And this is fast moving energy if it was in the upright. So you slow, you delayed. You delayed some movement which caused the loss, a finance, financial loss. You delayed doing something which caused you financial loss. The outcome here though is the two of wands. So something you put off cost you financially. Because you took too much time to make a decision. But at the end, you still had love. Hold up, let me look at this. <laughs> <coughs> You're trying to explain to somebody that you love why you don't have the money that you thought you were going to have, how you lost some money that you thought you were going to make, or that if you you're afraid That if the person that you love gets the message that you don't have the money that you ex that they expect you to have, that you think they expect you to have, then that's what you're trying. Not that's why you don't want to move forward, but you still love the person. You love this person. This is it. Love isn't changing, but you don't want them to find out that you have less money than you think they think you have. Okay, Aries. Okay, there's a love message that you don't want to take. There's a message that you don't want to take to someone you love. And it's about money that you've lost. And that's why you're taking your time going to see them. All right. Mm. <laughs> well, okay. Let me see if we can get anything else. What's on the bottom of this deck? Okay, so, Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this means that you think that you're stuck and you're really not stuck. Or you're coming out of being stuck. So this is how you're going to come out of being stuck. Or this is going to help this situation. is signaling that you have come out of being stuck. But you're afraid to make, you're afraid to tell the person that you love this. Okay, this card fell out. This is judgment, but it's in the reverse. So this is how it goes, judgment. <coughs> in the reverse. A decision didn't go well for you. 
something that you thought you were going to get, it went against you. Your star, an upright. This may have something to do with someone who's an Aquarius also. <clears throat> so maybe the person who is Aquarius got the better end of the judgment. Is that what's saying? Okay, let me see what's going on here. <laughs> So you don't want to tell your person that you're in love with that a judgment went against you. And even though this now frees you up, the judgment went against you. Someone who's an Aquarius may have been the person to have been victorious in this matter. But you feel now like you're unstuck. But you're delaying going to take this information to the person you love. <laughs> wow. No, that's too many cards. But this is the card I saw that said chariot. And it means like, get moving. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got five of wands here, a hermit reverse, and the queen of swords, and four of cups. The chariot, five of wands, the hermit, upside down, the hermit reverse, the queen of swords. Four of Cups reversed. Okay, so you made some kind of decision concerning a Queen of Swords, an air sign. Four of Cups reversed. So you've come to a decision concerning Queen of Wands, <coughs> okay, so the Hermit is in the reverse, so that means that you finish thinking. Disagreements, arguments, fighting. So you've had a lot of disagreements, arguments, and you have come out of hermit mode, and you have made a decision, a love decision concerning the Queen of Swords and Chariot. So that means that you're leaving. This situation. You're leaving this situation. All right. So what's going? Why? What's the problem over here? <sighs> Judgment. Hmm. Okay, let me look at this again now. Mm -hmm. So, Judgment in the reverse. Okay. 
right, so you want to tell the person that you love that you made bad judgment. That you want this pain to end. Okay, so you're going to go see you, the person you love and tell them this. Okay, you want to tell that to the person that you love. That you've come to a decision concerning the Queen of Swords. You're too much fighting. So what are you telling the person? Are you telling them to just staying with this Queen of Swords? They want to come out and book for them. <laughs> Alrighty, see who do we have here? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Excellent. We have the Tower card. Big changes. Four of Wands. Foundation. This is in the reverse. So the foundation. I want to say the happy family is over. The foundation has been turned upside down. Nine of Wands. A lot of love was lost. You're torturing us here, Aries. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Four of Wands in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. All right. Some kind of explosion that caused... Loss. It's all big. This big loss of money exposed something about the tower. Something got exposed. Something, something about this big loss of money. This big loss of money. Something about this money. Secrets about this money. Secrets about this money. And I see a little fox down there underneath that money too. Somebody was trying to get away with some money. Some secret about some money came out. And it caused a tower moment. And destroyed the family. And the love. Someone tried to get away with some money. Okay, so you're coming to tell this to your the person you love that this is what happened and this is why you're leaving this Queen of Swords energy. So you got the two of wands and you got the high priestess. She's in reverse. So you're afraid to go see her because you think that she is going to be, 
she loves you, but and you love her, but you think that she's going to be in high pisosity. That she is going to be not acting like a high priestess when you see her. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, all right. She is not going to be acting in her element when you see her. Well, she's pissed off at you too. But she doesn't know about this. Now let's get back over here to this star business. situation is going to be balanced this is a balanced situation so <clears throat> whatever this thing that was going on happened brought you some kind of balance brought you back to reality you had an aha moment You're not even balancing those those cups. You're throwing those cups right back into the water. Both of those cups, you're dumping them right back into the water. Hmm. Start back all over again when you start. You want to let bygones be bygones. You want to start all over again. You want a fresh start with this person that you love. When you tell them this story, you're hoping for a fresh start. <clears throat> the bottom of the deck right now is temperance. So this may have something to do with a Sagittarius or... Hmm... And the next card after that was the Ace of Cups on the bottom. So maybe this person has been patient with you. And they love you. You're the Ace of Cups. They will know who you are. You don't have any secrets from them. She's patient. She's she's balanced. She knows what's happening. She may react emotionally at first. She may even get heated. <laughs> Cause she's got a cup she got two cups of love, but they one's on, one's emotional and one is fiery. That may not be a good thing, so maybe you're right to be afraid. <laughs> but she knows who you are. She knows your secrets. She loves you anyway. But she may get pissed off at first. And she may be emotional. So she may be between the two. Hmm. I'm going to tell them the story here. This is a soap opera. I don't know if we have enough cards for all this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. King of Swords. Well, he's showing up. <laughs> What's he got to say about this here? King of Swords. The truth.
she's saying that she's proud of you for telling the truth that all you need to do is tell the truth she loves you she also loves the truth she loves the truth So is she going to investigate this for herself, maybe, before she gives you an answer? She's going to do her own checking. That's what I'm doing. Oh, my. Oh, no. That's the whole... Hmm. Three of Cups. Upside down, reverse. Not a happy family. No cause for celebration. Mm. And that had really actually felt over here with the Hermit, the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and all of the, the Five of Wands. This actually fell on top of that out of the deck. So, meantime, back at the ranch. <laughs> oh, this is like a soap opera. Okay, so the card that fell out on top right after that on this side is death and it was an upright so this could be someone who's a Scorpio that's involved in this but there's going to be some kind of change some kind of transformation the bottom of the deck right now is six of swords so maybe they're deciding to move on oh shoot that wasn't even the bottom of the deck that was actually turned up on the top of the deck huh the bottom of the deck with strength in the reverse this is also a card of a fire sign but it fell here next to this you know it was coming here right after the six of swords so that would be the bottom of that deck so she's she doesn't have strength for this this person here six of swords energy queen of swords energy she's moving on she doesn't have strength for this doesn't have strength for this hmm. Over here, the fool is on to a new adventure. I think that's the end of it because the deck was turned to itself. <laughs> it was this on this side and this on this side. So I'm going to take it that, yeah. the soap opera that's going on in your life Aries let's see if we can get another message from conscious spirit oracle wow that took 29 minutes that's a lot of work to tell that's something to tell I guess you have to put on your big boy big, big girl pants and tell the person you love this story see if they'll go for it forest frolic maiden I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. So this is celebrations of a new beginning. It's, it's talking also about nostalgia. Okay? Things that take you back to your childhood. The feeling of freedom that you had when you were a kid. Um, I 
guess that would go along with the full car. So I guess that's conf confirmation of that. Or confirmation of the soul story. I say it, girl. Thank you. That's how I see it, Aries. That's what's going on around you. Some money got messed up. Or somebody, you caught somebody stealing money. Maybe a lawyer or someone. Somebody might, have, somebody professional might have been helping them cheat. That might have been that judgment card in the reverse. But it came out. For well, me, the judge caught it. And it, the bad judgment came back and it told, exposed this. Hmm. Archangel Michael, I'm grateful for the strength and courage Archangel Michael brings to my life. Protection. Positive outcomes, opportunities going forward. Courage. At days and rest. I find peace in nature and rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. You've been working hard. You need a vacation. You need to rest after all of this. This is taking a lot out of you, Aries. 44, integration. I have combined my mind, body, and soul to lift all of humanity to a new dimension. You learned a lesson. Big time, Aries. That's a big lesson to learn. I say. That's what that's saying to me, that you learned a big lesson and that everything going forward is good. You need to take a break. You need to rest after all of this confusion. But you made a decision or a decision was made for you. Karmic completion. God, I was getting ready to say that, but I couldn't. How dare I, right? <laughs> Karmic completion. Your lesson. This is it. You got a 10. Oh my God. So Gemini last month and now Aries. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. This is better than the Super Bowl, y'all. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. A karmic completion. Aries. That was a hard lesson, right? That was hard. This card indicates the end of a karmic lesson or cycle, but you have successfully cleared a contract or a debt from your past. This could refer to a challenging situation you have recently conquered in your life or a troubling experience with an individual that involved a great deal of effort or pain. Even though there are ongoing lessons to confront throughout the course of your life, you will never have to experience this particular lesson again. This card represents the wheel of fortune, where whatever goes up must come down. Just as the tides are constantly ebbing and flowing, you are being encouraged to adapt to both the highs and lows of life. For it is in your ability to adapt that you will make your dreams come true. By stating, this too shall pass. In the face of each and every experience, you will remain centered, grounded, and stable. In order to better your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that have cleared you of a karmic debt from your past. So pat yourself on the back and acknowledge your efforts and achievements by continuing to face your challenges head on and treating others with love and respect, you will be rewarded beyond your wildest dreams. The affirmation here is, I clear debts from my past and create a happy, harmonious life. Thank you so much. Oh. 
congratulations. Congratulations. Well, I think that we have read enough cards, don't you? So, let's just do one more. I don't, you know what? No. That's it. Karmic completion. So this situation, if it hasn't happened yet, when you make that happen, when you tell the truth, when you tell the truth, when this situation is done, when you make a decision to tell the truth and stand up, that's when you're going to achieve that if you haven't done this already. And they were good enough. The divine is good enough to give you the roadmap on how to do it, how to explain it, what's going to go on. It's up to you. Free will. Take it or leave it. Anyway, Aries, thank you so, so, so much for allowing me to share this, this experience with you. Okay, so please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Please, if you know any people who are Aries, um, you may want to forward this video to them also. People who have Aries in their chart. Okay, and I already explained how you can go to Astro Cafe and Astro Lab, Lobe, Lobe, and get your free birth chart. And then you can uh, check your, not a, your sun, your sun along with your moon and rising and Venus's, and you know, make maybe give you more complete messages. But I think this is the completest message that anybody would need. So, thank you for joining me, and I will be speaking to you all soon. All right, so I'll be doing love bites by the middle, well, close to Valentine's Day because after you, I only got three more more um, generals to do. Okay. I'll be talking to you soon. Love you guys. Love you, Aries. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. All right. So, Alafia, Ashe, and peace.